Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chai YouTube channel Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. Love the pause there. And welcome back to another video. Now today is the video you guys have been waiting for. It's the annual videos that you guys are crying out for, I'm sure, behind the screens. It is the early prediction videos for Six Flags, Cedar Fair and Merlin Entertainment. Now, just like last year, I'm only sticking to those three. I know, you know, for the early predictions this time last year, we did uh, other USA parks and we did SeaWorld and I think we did Hershey Family Entertainment. I think they were included. But uh, I am sticking to just the main three, Six Flags, Cedar Fair, Merlin Entertainment here in the UK. Uh, now, of course, SeaWorld I may do next year, depending if they've got any plans released for this year, uh, for 2022. But I, it doesn't look likely in this case. So I think uh, SeaWorld may come into it next season. Uh, however, 2021, it can come as quickly as 2020 has come already. And we're going to be discussing my predictions on, as you can see by the title, Six Flags. Now, the final predictions video, I believe, it was the one out of the three out for Six Flags, is the, is like one of the like the second most highest viewed video on the channel with like 4,400 views. So thank you so, so much. I think it's nearly 4,000 or something like that. It's, it's either nearly 4,000 or just over 4,000 views. So thank you guys so, so much for watching those videos. Uh, now... Let's go into the early 2021 predictions. So some of the, well, most of these will be just my thoughts and my speculation. There's a couple in there that are pretty much decided already. Uh, so let's get straight into this. And of course, we've upgraded this year. We've included Google Earth imagery to provide evidence of where these sites could be. So let's start off straight away with our very first park. And our very first park in the early 2021 predictions is... Six Flags, Darien Lake. Now in 2020, they're scheduled to get Wahoo Wave for the Hurricane Harbor Water Park. This, in 2021, however, my first prediction is one of two. They could go the low investment route, where it could be a uh, re-theme of their Beaver Brothers Bay and Rowdy Ridge uh, into either DC Super Friends or Bugs Bunny Boomtown, or they could replace their Shipwreck Falls Shoot the Shoots ride with a Mac Power Splash or an RMC Raptor. Now, of course, that one is quite a long shot because we haven't seen any clearance or construction as of yet. However, that doesn't stop it from becoming true. You never know. I think that an RMC Raptor is a good low-capacity coaster that would work for Darien Lake. Mac Power Splash, again, is very unique to the area. It's very unique to Darien Lake, and I think it'd be a great addition to the park. But I think the most likely in this case will be a retheme of the Beaver, Beaver Brothers Bay and Rowdy's Ridge area. And now, of course, like I said, the main two themes we're looking at here is Bugs Bunny Boomtown or DC Super Friends. I think one of those two will be the most likely in, in this, in my opinion. Moving in then to Frontier City. Uh, now, of course, they got Wahoo Racer for the water park in Oklahoma in 2020. For 2021, however, I think the Thunder Road... Well, you can see already on your screen. I think the Thunder Road Raceway go-karts are going to go. And I think we're going to see either a Zamperla Disco Coaster, a Zamperla Giant Discovery, or a Giga Discovery. Now, they could go either one of the Discovery options. I think the Disco Coaster may be unlikely. And I'm not talking Spin Sanity at St. Louis, kind of just normal curve, which is like Navigator at Flamingoland. You know, things like that. I'm talking the one with the Camelback Airtime Hill. Maybe they could do the world's longest and tallest and fastest disco coaster. You never know. You never know. It's Six Flags. World's tallest, longest, fastest disco coaster. Because they like to call it a coaster, don't they? Larson Loops. We're looking at you. Uh, <laughs> but I think the Thunder Road Wayfair Go-Karts is the most likely site to be removed, in my opinion, for a new attraction. So, of course... Let's move into our next park, the Great Escape. Now, in 2020, they're set to get the Adirondack Outlaw, which, of course, renamed to just Outlaw, uh, which is the, like, skyscraper swing ride. Uh, of course, there was some huge kerfuffle about relocating that to a different site in the park. Uh, now, my 2021 prediction is a Tsunami Surge water coaster located, as you can already see on your screen, just behind Tornado, where the yellow box is. Now, of course, that piece of space, it doesn't have to be as long as Tsunami Surge at Six Flags Great America, um, or the Tsunami Surge at Fiesta Texas. However, um, I 
personally believe that um, the Great Escape could do some kind of water coaster on similar or nearly up to that kind of scale. Uh, and behind Tornado, you can see you know quite a bit of empty space that they could utilise, and I think it'd be a great expansion space for the water park. Moving in then to La Ronde. Now, of course, in 2020, they're opening V-Pair, which is the relocated Green Lantern first flight from Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's an Intamin Zaxpin co coaster uh, where you've got the spinning seats. It's a very compact layout. So in 2021, I think we could. I think the most we could expect is a super air race flat ride near the Boomerang, which you can already see on your screen, the site. Uh, now, of course, that would signal the replacement of their uh, sort of swinging claw ride, um, their KMG Afterburner type ride and a few buildings nearby. It would schedule the removal of them. Uh, however, I don't think that'll be a problem. I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. Uh, so it's an easy sight, in my opinion. Six Flags America. Now in 2020, they replaced their Sky Coaster with Harley Quinn's Insanity, the Zamperla Discovery model. So in 2021, I think they're going to go more of a family thrill ride. And you can already see on your screen that I think the site in question will be near uh, the Batwing. Now, of course, there's an empty plot of land sort of in between uh, Batwing and the Superman Ride of Steel ride. And I think they're going to do a Martian Manhunter themed Zamperla Endeavor. Now, Zamperla Endeavor is one of the rides that's been, um, you know, tossed around the, the six crab parts for the last couple of years and I think that another one is not out of the question at all. Six Flags Discovery Kingdom then, so in 2020, well it could be 2021, Sierra Sidewinder. Now of course we, we, we have heard rumours and speculation that that is being delayed until 2021 uh, to sort of save money on Six Flags' budget of course with the current COVID-19 crisis, I think the Six Flags are trying to hold off on some of the investments for 2020 and sort of delaying them until 2021. So some of these predictions may not come to light, you never know. Uh, but I think Sidewind, Sidewind Safari may open in 2020, but I think it's most likely to come in 2021. If it does open in 2020, however, I think we're going to see either a Zamperla Endeavour or a Drop Tower ride located on the site of the Penguin attraction. Now, I've also circled the go-karts next to it. I think they could expand that site, especially if they in introduce a Drop Tower. I think they could put the queue line for it in the Penguin attraction location and the actual drop ride goes in the go-kart spot. So it's a very interesting process. If not, I think that the Penguin ride will just get replaced by the Zampilla Endeavour. And they could even theme the Endeavour to Penguin. Or they could do a Poison Ivy type ride. I don't know. Uh, moving in then to Fiesta, Texas. Now, they got Daredevil flying machines in 2020, or are going to get them in 2020, which is a super air race attraction. In 2021, however, I'm thinking they're going to get a water park investment. And next to Paradise Plunge, I think they're going to get a new water coaster. Now, this could be a tsunami surge. It could be a brand new type of water coaster. You never, never know. Moving in then to Great Adventure. Now, of course, uh, in um, 2020, they got Jersey Devil. Uh, are getting Jersey Devil, the RMC single rail coaster. Now, of course, in my prediction, I think they're going to get either a skyscraper attraction, so that's like Outlaw or Great Escape, Catwoman's Whip going to Six Flags St. Louis, or a Zamperla Super or normal air race model to replace the Daredevil Dive Sky Coaster and the Great American Road Race, which is their uh, sort of um, go karts attraction. Now, you can already see on your screen, it's a large site, so I think the San Perla Air Race uh, would be a good fit, the Super Air Race. It could utilise the road race site, and then the queue goes through uh, the Sky Coaster site. Now, if they were going to go with the Skyscraper, I think that will utilise the Sky Coaster site, and the queue line will go through the road race site. So it's a very difficult process to choose between the two. But I think it will be some kind of thrill or family ride. Moving in then to Great America. Now Great America is adding Tsunami Surge in 2020. So I think for 2021 they're going to go along the Sky Screamer ride. Located in the former go-kart site. Or, or, and this is a big O. 
I think they could, as you can already see on your screen, and this is why I haven't put that site on there, the first site. I think the most likely option here is that Kidsopolis is going to get rethemed. Now, it'll get rethemed, in my opinion, to either DC Super Friends or Bugsbury Boomtown. Now, I wrote on my notes Kidsopolis or Camp Cartoon, but I think Kidsopolis is the most likely to go, in my opinion. Uh, so I think that DC Super Friends or Bugs Bunny Boomtown will come in to replace Kidsopolis. That's the reason why I haven't put the go-kart site on there, uh, in my opinion. And I think that uh, we're going to see uh, this Sky Screamer attraction come into the park. Moving in then to Six Flags Magic Mountain. And this is one of the easy ones. Now, of course, West Coast Racers opened in 2020, early 2020, where it's supposed to open in 2019. However, for 2021, we know what's coming. It will be an RMC Raptor coaster located on the site of Tidal Wave and Green Lantern First Flight. Now, of course, Tidal Wave is their Shoot the Shoots ride, and Green Lantern, of course, is now going to be at La Ronde as Viper, which is Viper in French. Uh, now, of course, you can see already that site. Uh, that is the uh, estimate site for this attraction, and we know from previous reports and file plans publicly on the LA County Board, we know this is going to be an extended clone of Jersey Devil Coaster and Six Flags Great Adventure, which I think is a great fit for the park, and I'm really looking forward to it. Six Flags Mexico is one of the more broader predictions. I don't exactly know what type of attraction they could add here. I think it will replace Go Kart's Teen Titans, as you can already see on your screen. However, I think it will just be a new ride of some sort. I don't even think it's family or thrill or anything like that. I just know it's going to be a brand new ride. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know what. If I was to like make any sort of prediction, I think the best I can predict is either a Super Air Race or a Zampola Endeavor. That's the best I can predict. Um, and I think the Go Karts Teen Titans is one of the main sites for debate, in my opinion. Moving in then to Six Flags New England, and I think that the old Typhoon water coaster is going to be removed and updated with a new Tsunami Surge water coaster. Now, they got the Zampola Endeavor for the dry part last year, well, this year with Supergirl Skyfly, and then next year, I think they're going to focus on Hurricane Harbor. Six Flags over Georgia. Now, of course, they're getting Catwoman Whip and Poison Ivy Toxy Twister in 2020. Now... I think we're going to see a brand new ride replace Gold Town Racers or Splash Water Falls. Now that's why that's that's why the Splash Water Falls site is on there and not Gold uh, Gold Town Racers. I think Splash Water Falls will be the focus for 2021, and I think we're going to see a brand new ride or a brand new coaster. Now it could be something as simple as an OMC Raptor. It could be an SNS 43 spin that was rumoured. Uh, well, it was back when we like first started this channel. We, we heard the rumours of like back-to-back -back coaster years. Uh, one being a 43 spin and the other being um, a Max Force type launch coaster somewhere else in the park. So I think there's a possibility they could use that 43 spin. Moving in then to over Texas. Now of course, 2021 is the 60th anniversary of um six flags but it's also the 60th anniversary of over texas now there's a reason what now of course the investing aquaman power wave the map power splash in 2020 there's a reason why there's no google earth picture for this park i think they're going to do park celebrations and events for 60 years of operation and i think they could announce a brand new coaster for 2022 so i'm quite um, I'm quite curious to the fact that Over Texas could invest in a brand new coaster in 2022, but the announcement of a brand new coaster for the following year is part of their 60th anniversary celebrations. So 60 years of Over Texas is very impressive. 60 years of Six Flags is very impressive. However, I think Over Texas will be the focus for 2022 for a new roller coaster, and I think they'll announce that during the celebration for 60 years. Finally then, Six Flags St. Louis, Catwoman Whip, the skyscraper attraction in 2020, but we know what's coming in 2021. Either on the Splash Boats or Tidal Wave attraction sites, we're going to see an RMC Raptor that now through the plans uh, that we got. Uh, this is apparently set to be a uh, clone of Railblazer at California's Great America. Uh, so it's one of the prototype Raptor models uh, cloned again. Uh, so, so it will pretty much be a clone of Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth if we're talking Six Flags terminology. 
uh, Six Flags Fiesta Texas. We're looking at one of those clones, or Rail Blazer at California's Great America at the rival Cedar Fair chain. Uh, so there we go. So that is my uh, Six Flags early prediction for 2021. Uh, so we can see some park celebrations in there, some family rides, some thrill rides, some water park additions, and of course a couple of coasters here and there as well. Uh, now, like I said, I think I think we're only going to see two coasters next year. You know, I think that Magic Mountain and Six Flags St. Louis, and they're going to get RMC Raptors. One is bigger than the other, but that's all right because RMC Raptors fit both parks. A massive Jersey Devil clone for Magic Mountain, or extended Jersey Devil clone. And then a new, a usual prototype clone for St. Louis. It's perfect for the park. It's the coaster from scratch that St. Louis has been waiting for. Great Adventure has been waiting for a coaster from scratch for a number of years. Now Six Flags St. Louis's wait is almost over. And of course Magic Mountain, they love to do something coaster related. And of course with it being 2021 and with it being the anniversary of the park, it makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, so there we go. So thank you very much guys for watching my early prediction for Six Flags. The Cedar Fair and Million Entertainment videos will be coming out tomorrow and the day after. So make sure you stay tuned for them. And for now guys, thank you very, very much. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, my name is Coach Shell. Cute on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.